watching them day by day, learning football, just trying to take my game to the next level. And they just always tell me, just keep my head on straight and do what I'm supposed to do. When you were preparing for this season, what did you do maybe this offseason to get ready for the opportunity? What I do? I'll say basically, definitely like just learn the game more, just continue because you can never not learn the game in a lot of conditioning, screen program, Coach Blue got us right. Um, there's that, a lot of film and stuff. Is that something you learn from the older guys is that, that film study and that being a student? Yeah, I mean, Dallas last year, you could never catch him like watching NFL tape on his iPad. Like he was all a big film guy, just trying to get better at his craft, pass rushing and stuff. For you like, going into this final stretch of the season, where do you think you've maybe grown and where do you still kind of want to improve and build? I'll say for me, I want to improve on my pass rush, just learning, like getting comfortable with pass rush angles and just like my teammates and coaches telling me just cutting it loose and just play like myself. What's your relationship like with James Smith coming from the same school? Did you just get that one? Yeah. Oh, I miss that. No, nah, I, mean, I ain't get it. I ain't get it. But okay. like, yeah, of course, that's my brother. Uh, we basically be with each other almost every day. And just coming here together, playing together, just mean more to both of us. Just go out there and shine like together. Did you all share any frustration last year not getting to be on the field a whole lot? Um, not really. I mean, he played a little bit, but me, it was me. I understood why I wasn't playing because, like, just I needed to learn more. I mean, physically, I think I, my body was good, but it's just like learning football, you know? Yeah. What do you think you've improved in that area as the, the student aspect? The student, the student of the game? I think I improved a lot. Just, yeah, I think I improved a lot. I ain't even see when I caught the pick. I ain't even see him because my eyes was on the quarterback. I ain't even see him until later. He was like, "Hey man, I got that man." I was like, man, "I ain't see you, man." Until I watched the video, I was like, "All right, man, you got it." Quick step away from football. It's Halloween today. Do you have a favorite Halloween candy or like a favorite memory or costume from growing up? Mm, a favorite memory? I mean, I remember me and my brothers. Well, I'm originally from Troy, so I just remember my brothers uh, going to like scare people in the, in the neighborhood. That's a, that's a memory. I think you're talking about last year you were developing. Is it your strength? Is that the strength that you really needed to build up? Or yeah, what, what just, was it about your game? Just learning football because, like, when I came, I really didn't know nothing. So just taking my football IQ to the next level really just had me – well, gave, it the, gave me the ability to separate myself from the others. You talked about, more. <laughs> you talked about building your football IQ. A lot of people on the team have talked about um, the game logging system being easier to understand mm -hmm. and helping players progress. You felt that way? Yeah, especially coming from Coach Saban. Everything, you know, with Saban defense, a lot of checks and stuff. Um, Coach, Coach Womack gave us the ability to just, like, get our feet in the grass and play play like play, play like our, the ability like that we got. Bro. Uh, it's been it's been it's been great for everybody. Just trying to get our bodies back, and we got a game a big game this week. So just getting our bodies right and our minds right, and stay focused. Thank you, Clay. Thanks, Clay.